So cute. So cute. It's so cute. So cute. So cute. They're so cute. Really, really cute. So cute. It's so cute. Really cute. This is so cute. Hi, it's Elle, and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do something a little different from my normal studio vlogs and film a little haul of products that I recently purchased from small businesses and a lot of these businesses that I'll be mentioning in this video are from artists that I've been following on Instagram for years and that I genuinely love but there's also a few sprinkled in that I recently discovered on platforms like TikTok so I'm really excited about that I've actually very rarely shopped for major corporations when it comes to buying small accessories and clothing Thing just because I'd rather put my money towards small businesses and I cannot stress enough how important it is to shop small because not only are you supporting someone's creative passions but you're also supporting their livelihood okay I also want to point out that I attempted to record this very same video yesterday but unfortunately all of the footage was so freaking blurry and it was basically unusable and I was really sad about it but it is what it is it's okay I'm filming this again even though the packages are already ripped open there's still gonna be really genuine reactions because I still very much love the artists and the products that I purchased so yeah just a disclaimer anyway enough talking let's get started with this haul so the first package that I'll be unboxing is from Lala Saidko hopefully I am not butchering that name but she's a small artist from France and I've been meaning to purchase something from her for the longest time um, she's mostly known for her little lucky cat pieces and she does a lot of art inspired by Japanese culture but I'm never on time for her launches and I always miss out because they sell out so fast but luckily I was able to snag one of her larger prints and I'm really excited about this because it's Studio Ghibli themed and you guys know that I love Studio Ghibli so yeah, let's open this up so on the front there's just a little note it says hello Donabelle thank you for your order lots of luck for those of you who don't know my full name is Donabelle um, I don't think I've mentioned this before on my channel or even like on my Instagram but I go by L because it's basically just my name cut in half I'm so excited so I wanted to purchase a larger print of hers because I wanted to put an art gallery in my studio as you can see, I already have things up like in the back of this desk, which is the desk that I use to package orders. But I also have another desk to my right and the walls are pretty bare. So I was thinking of putting an art gallery there. So this is the first print that I purchased for that art gallery. Oh, there's like an extra print inside. So thank you so much for sending that. I doubt that she's watching this what the extra print looks like. I think it's like a milk carton and there's like a little character inside just doing some graffiti on the walls. It's really cool. The actual print that I ordered was this Studio Ghibli print. It's so, so beautiful. As you can see, it has characters from different Studio Ghibli films. So there's No Face from Spirited Away. There's the cat bus from the Totoro movie. There's Totoro himself. Um, Calcifer from House Moving Castle, my favorite. Actually, I never watched this movie. I forgot what it's called, like Porco Rosso. And here's like the little heads as well from Spirited Away. There's like a little egg dude with his butt just hanging out. It's so cute. I'm super happy that I purchased this. Uh, her art is so- Oh my god, I just noticed this. There's like a little suit sprite holding a cigarette. <laughs> I can't wait to frame this and put this on my wall. Next up, I ordered from Shelby DeGarmo, who I discovered on TikTok on my For You page because I am always on small business TikTok, but I really fell in love with her art because she does a lot of pop surreal oil paintings that are just so bright and colorful. She's an artist from North Carolina, I believe, and I purchased one of her little oil paintings that um, is like a creepy cute bear and it's so cute. It came in a little plastic So I'm gonna open this up real quick so I can show you a better view of it Okay, so it came with a little handwritten note as well, which is always really sweet Here's the little note It also came with a little strawberry sticker, I believe and her little business card with a rabbit on it this is the print that I purchased from her website. Um, 
it's basically just a creepy cute bear like I said I really like the colors pink and red together as well it just reminds me of Valentine's Day and love it also feels really nostalgic like it kind of reminds me of Care Bears but in a creepy way and there's also like a bunch of little cherries which you guys know I love but yeah this is such a cute drawing and I also can't wait to put this on my art gallery wall Next up, I ordered from Studio Lou, which is a local business in my area. They're based in San Francisco and they're 100% female owned, which is always awesome. And yeah, I purchased one of her rugs. I saw it like on my recommended on Instagram when I was just scrolling one day and there was a really, really cute egg rug that I fell in love with and when I saw it I could already imagine it in my studio like under my desk. It's actually one of the first packages that arrived in the mail like five weeks ago and it was so tempting to open this up but I stopped myself because I was waiting for like mail to come in from the other packages so I can film this video. So today is the day that I can finally open this and see how cute the rug is in person. So it came with a little thank you card. It says, all of our products are handmade or curated pieces we love in our spaces. Here's the rug. Are you guys ready for this? Because I don't think you're ready. It's so cute. Just, just prepare for the cuteness. This is the rug that I bought. I don't think I need to say anything. It speaks for itself. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. I would put it in my bathroom, but I also don't want to get it wet or ruined. So this is probably just going to go under my desk in my studio. Or maybe like I'll have it by, like I have a door beside my studio, which leads out to the balcony. So maybe I'll put the rug there. But yeah, it's so adorable. This is so cute. Oh my God, I love it. <sighs> This package is from a small artist in UK. Her name is Eva Mali, and I also discovered her on TikTok because she does a lot of packaging videos that are so aesthetic. I just love the way that she films her packaging videos and I also love her products as well, of course. She does a lot of 90s inspired colorful products and I bought myself a tote bag and also some earrings. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I absolutely love collecting fun statement earrings. And when I saw her earrings, I definitely had to add it to my collection as well. It's so neatly packed by the way, and so compact. So it came with a little card and on the back it's just a little thank you card. And it also came with this little sticker as well. I think it's a sticker. It's so cute. Okay, let me look at the earring first. So the earring came in this little baggie, which I'm gonna open. Oh gosh, it's so cute. Well, I mean, I saw it online, but it's even cuter in person. So this is the earrings. They're just like these little checkered smiley face flowers. They totally remind me of Lazy Oaf, if you guys know that brand. I think it's also UK based. But yeah, they're so cute. Okay, I'm actually gonna put this on right now. I don't know, what do you guys think? I love it so much. I also bought one of her tote bags and this is what it looks like. It's like a little angel devil girl and it's pink. And it's so cute. I feel like I already have so many tote bags, so I probably didn't need to buy another one. But I'll probably use it for when I have to send out Patreon mail and head to the post office. Then I can look super cool wearing this tote bag. <laughs> Before I continue with this haul, I just want to quickly mention that it is Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. So I really wanted to make it a point to purchase from fellow Asian American artists and businesses and show them some extra love this month. Growing up, I feel like there weren't many prominent Asian American people working in the creative industry. So it's just really amazing to see the growing representation in this field. That being said, I am really, really excited about this package. I ordered something from Tiffany, AKA Apple Cheeks, and she recently collaborated with Keston on a set of jewelry charms. 
and they're both Asian American businesses, which I love to see. Also, before I open this up, I just want to say that I am such a big fan of Tiffany. I remember when I came across her YouTube video last year, of like one of her studio vlogs, and I instantly became so hooked. I like watched all of her studio vlogs within a week, and I was just so inspired by her work ethic and just her artwork in general. So Tiffany, if you're watching this, congrats on such a beautiful collaboration and yeah okay enough fan curling i'm gonna open this up so it came with a limited edition 5x7 print that tiffany designed basically it's just like a little picnic scene there's a little cake on the back and then some cute little strawberries in a basket and most of tiffany's work she features a lot of fruit and animals and it's just really colorful and playful which i really love and on the back there's just a little thank you card it came with a little handwritten note from the owner of keston i believe stephanie and it says, hi Giselle, thank you so much for shopping with Keston and for your support of both my business and this collab with Tiffany. I hope that you love your new charm. And here is the charm itself. And it came in this really beautiful velvet baggie with some gold printing. And this is the little charm that I got. I got one of her little strawberry ones in silver so you probably can't see this because it's really tiny so i'll film this closer up so you can see all the details but it is so gorgeous it has little rhinestones throughout and yeah i actually just realized that i forgot to buy the chain on their website that goes with this so i'll probably have to go back and buy it but this is still really really cute Next, I ordered from a mutual friend of mine, Lonnie, and we actually have not met yet, but we are going to a museum next month, so I'm really excited to meet her. Um, but she's also a Filipino-American artist from the Bay Area. She just opened up her shop recently, and this is her very first collection. So congrats to her. That's such a huge step. And I think she threw in a ton of extra stuff as well. So thank you, Lonnie. Okay, there's a lot in here. I actually ordered like this little froggy pin and it's in like a little crepe. But she also sent me another pin of her bunny in a crepe. They're so cute. All of her illustrations are always so like kawaii. She also sent me some of her Rilakkuma Tamagotchi stickers. So it comes in a set of four. It also has another sticker pack. Okay, so it's just a set of five macaroon stickers. This one's my favorite. It's like a little llama one as well. Oh my god, I feel like she's spoiling me so much. There's so many products in here. Oh, there's like a couple of notes and it says, thank you well. And this little illustration of her, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, she sent me so many stickers. Oh my god, you did not have to do this. I'll show like a closer up view of all of these. I think this is the one that I actually ordered. There's a holographic version of the llama and a macaroon. So cute. Thank you so much for all of the extra stickers. I love them so much. Yay! We're down to the very last package and this one is from Justine Balbuena who I've been friends with for a couple of years now through Instagram. And she's also a Filipino-American artist based in New York. A lot of her art feels very warm and cozy and it's inspired by her childhood growing up Filipino-American. So yeah, it just feels very nostalgic every time I see her art pieces because I'm also Filipino-American so I'm able to resonate with a lot of her stuff. So yeah, I got a few pieces from her. Not only did I want to support her latest launch, but I also wanted to get my hands on her very first zine because one of my friends recently gave birth and her and her partner were looking for Asian American books that they can read to their newborn. So I thought this would be the perfect gift. It's called Did You Eat? And all the other ways to say I love you without actually saying it. And if you're Asian American too, I'm sure you could relate to this. So yeah, this book looks very, very sweet and endearing and I'm sure that my friends will love it. She also included the little gift message that I asked her to include, which is really sweet. So Alan and Coco, if you're watching this, this is for you. Hopefully this has already been mailed to you and you 
you already have it in your hands. But if not, um, this is coming your way. It looks like it came with a handwritten note as well. And it says, L, thank you so much for your order and kind support. I included a few goodies. I couldn't help myself. I hope you enjoy them. Thank you so much, Justine. You really did not have to throw in extra stuff, but I am very grateful. So let me show you the pins that I ordered first. The first one that I ordered was this butter cookies one. And I just thought it was really funny and it reminded me of my Lola and my mom. I'm sure a lot of Filipino Americans can relate to this as well. I remember when I was little, just like looking for cookies, opening the cookie tin and just finding sewing material inside. But yeah, this is just very nostalgic for me. The other pin that I got was this little Bayanihan one, which I think I'm going to gift to my sister because she's really involved in the Filipino American community here. This last one that I bought, is just a little sleeping black cat on a stack of books and it says the great catsby and harry potter which is really cute i'm gonna give this to my partner sean because he's a huge reader and he also loves black cats so it was perfect these next two she actually gifted to me it's just a little calamansi um, which is a filipino fruit and a little bread girl and on top of that, it looks like she also gave me a Suncatcher rainbow decal, which I'll open up right now. And it's the same graphic um, as the cat pin that I just showed you guys, except it's a white cat. And yeah, it's huge. It's so pretty. Thank you, Justine, for all of the extra goodies. There's one more thing. She also threw in a bookmark. So it looks like it has little scenes on the front and on the back. It just has a pattern of a girl eating a croissant, which is really cute. I'm actually still waiting for one more package. It arrives tomorrow on Monday, but I really wanted to be able to film this video this weekend while I had time. But I ordered from my online friend Chu, who is an incredible artist based in Australia. They do a lot of anime style drawings and comic book art. As much as I wanted to buy a print that I could display in my future art gallery, I just loved all of their pieces so much. So I bought an entire art book from them, which I'm really excited to see. Anyway, that pretty much wraps up this entire haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked any of the products that I showed or if you want to learn more about the artists that I talked about, then make sure to head over to my description below to check that out. Also, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe if you want to see more from me. Until then, I will see you in my next video. Bye! Waking up feeling like it's going away. Sunny up, but it just comes in a way